And welcome back to the Integrated Media Center here on the campus of Geneva College. I'm Chris Matthews, the Sports Information Director, and today we are joined by the Female Student Athlete of the Week, Daphne Hunsinger. You've been here once or twice before. You guys have gotten off to a pretty good start for your volleyball season this mm -hmm. year, six and three, I think. Yep. Uh, you were named the Conference Player of the Week last week. You've been twice named the National Christian College Player of the Week. You're leading NCAA Division III in triple doubles. So you've gotten off to a pretty good start as well. So thanks for stopping by for just a minute. Since it's the first time back with us this year, remind us how you ended up at Geneva College. So I wanted to go to a Christian school that <clears throat> had communication disorders. And I'm from near Philly, and this was the closest school with that major that's Christian. Okay. And my sister went here too, and she really loved it. So I decided to come. So playing volleyball as well, I assume, was a, a draw for you to come? Or? I wasn't <clears throat> sure if I wanted to play. Really? And then my mom's like, just play. <laughs> and so I was like, okay. Well, we're glad you did. You're evolving into one of the better volleyball players we've had around here. So uh, good job on that. So I, I know in talking Coach Smith, you didn't set before you got to Geneva. So how did that come about? Do you enjoy setting, playing that position? Um, so when I came freshman year, we didn't have a setter. Okay. So. She was like looking at everyone's hands and she liked mine and <laughs> of course I was like freaked out freshman year because as a setter you have so much to think about yeah. you like you can't even think about yourself because you're worrying yeah. about everyone else so the first couple of tournaments freshman year I was just like going crazy but <laughs> I by now I have the yeah. hang of it and I do really love hitting still so yeah. when I get the chance I love to hit but I like setting too because you're kind of in control of what happens. You are, you're kind of like the quarterback of the mm -hmm. offense a little bit. And it looks like the, the games are slowing down for you. You kind of know where you're supposed to go yeah. uh, when the ball comes <laughs> to you. So you're speaking of that, you're an upperclassman now, so you're pretty experienced. And you, it feels like your team has a lot of younger players, whether sophomore, freshmen, that you're trying to integrate into the offense, especially with the loss of, of Sydney and Alyssa last year. How do you feel like that's going and trying to make sure everyone's in the right place at the right time? It's been interesting. Yeah. Uh, they get pretty nervous, especially for home games. Sure. So, uh, coach wants us to work on not worrying about ourselves, but helping other people so we can all mesh together as a team. So I've been trying to do a, that a lot more. And it's kind of funny because sometimes I'll be playing and I look out and I'm like, wow, it's mostly freshmen <laughs> and sophomores out here. And I'm like, I'm the only upperclassman, so i got to like step up late a little bit more. Yeah, gotcha. Now, last weekend you guys were at Bluffton, which had some pretty high-level teams. How did you guys mm -hmm. feel like you matched up there and maybe kind of you got conference play opening Saturday? How do you feel like that prepares you leading into the conference season? Well, from our first tournament when we were 4-0, that yeah. was pretty easy for us. So okay. I think this last tournament was a good challenge, especially for when we play the higher teams in the pack. Yeah. We'll know how to adjust certain blocking patterns and certain defenses so it was really good practice and we took at least a set away from yeah. each one of those teams so I think we can match up pretty well in the pack. Yeah I felt like you guys were in every one of those matches against some, some pretty good teams so yeah. a, a good showing for, for you guys. Now you're two weeks into switching gears a little bit, you're two weeks into classes. How is that going especially balancing volleyball with class work? It's always kind of a challenge yeah. but my big tests and projects haven't really started yeah. yet, so once those start, it's going to get crazy, but right now it's been okay. Gotcha. All right, final four time, four cookies, just give me okay. what comes to mind. If you had to have one, would you rather have an 8 a.m. class or a night class, if you had to have one? Night class. Go with the night class. Do you take part in the karaoke on the bus trips? Because I've heard <laughs> there may be some karaoke that goes on during the women's volleyball bus um, rides. I definitely would. Yeah. <laughs> Did you play any other sports besides volleyball growing up, whether in high school um, or middle school? Or? I played a lot of sports, softball, soccer, field hockey, bowling, Maybe basketball. we should ask what sports you didn't play, <laughs> it sounds like. Yeah. And then lastly, what time do you shoot to get to bed each night? Is there a time you're like, okay, I need to be in bed by? Maybe um, a difference if you got a match the next day or an early morning class. But. This year has been a lot different than other years. Usually like. 11 or 12. Okay, well that's pretty respectful for, mm -hmm. for a college kid. All right, well congrats again on a good start, not only for you, but especially for the team, and mm -hmm. especially as the conference season rolls up here. We do appreciate you stopping by for just a minute.
All right. Well, that will do it for this edition of the Student Athlete of the Week. I'm Chris Matthews, joined today by Daphne Hunsinger. Until next time, storm on.